Hello guys and welcome to Universe Sandbox 2 and um, I was wondering what would happen if the sun wasn't this old but let's say a bit younger and usually the young stars look like um, like like this they're blue they have this blue color of course the radius and the mass of a young star is different from one star to another for example a young a young a young uh, UI Scuti star would have a uh, blue color but a radius and a mass way much bigger than the suns way much bigger but we will replace the sun with Sirius another star a young star so for that I will let's slow down a bit <coughs> all right and I will just uh, pause simulation <coughs> and I will place the Sirius B star Okay, right in the middle, in the middle of my ass, it's not the middle at all, well it is the middle actually, it's where the sun was previously, alright, so we place it series B in our, in our, um, in our solar system, and now I would like to notice the evolution of Earth. Right now the temperature, the surface temperature is 50 degrees Celsius. But let's see how will that change after one day, after one hour, after two days. For that we'll have to speed up a little. The surface temperature decreases but does the orbit changes? Yes, the orbit changes. The, the thick blue line is, um, I think, is the previous orbit trajectory and the new uh, very tiny blue line is the new, is the new one. And as you can see, the temperature, the surface temperature dropped a lot. And <coughs> we might expect winter in, um, in Africa. Who knows? But we can speed up a little more. I don't think you will be able to see the sun as you used to. And it won't be so shiny. Okay, the temperature goes down and, 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 and. Right now, the entire Earth is covered in ice. Now, I'm curious how far can this go? So, we will speed up. <coughs> because it has to, um, to stop at some point. It cannot go like that. Oh, okay. The entire Earth is a total is a total snowball, and the surface temperature keeps surface temperature keeps dropping too. And uh, I see that it's getting stab stab stabilized stable at minus 107 degrees Celsius, and it's dropping a little more, but. It might be another um, snow age, ice age, sorry, snow age, that's, it's brilliant guys, it's brilliant. So with a younger star, life, life would be different on earth. Life would be really different on Earth. 
But let's see the other planets. How are the other planets affected by this? You know, Venus is really... It's really hot on Venus, you know that? <clears throat> but now the surface temperature dropped to 46 degrees Celsius. We had this temperature on Earth, I and mean, it's really close to what we have to the peaks we have on Earth. I would say it's pretty nice. We could live on Venus. Let's see Mercury. The surface temperature is high for life. I mean for human life. But it's still not minus 108 degrees Celsius. And this is Mars. Minus 54 degrees Celsius. Now I don't know if during the night or during the day. Because on Mars the temperature differs a lot. Uh, during the day and night circles. <sighs> but life would really be affected if um, our sun would be a smaller, a younger, a lot younger. Nevertheless guys, I thank you for watching and please make sure to subscribe for more videos with Universe Sandbox and if you enjoy it there's a link in the description to G2A where you can get it for a very good price. Thank you for watching, love you, bye bye.